Missouri's been hot and cold at times shooting the three this year. Just it, was was their start something that, that you could have expected at all? Well, yeah. I mean, again, uh, all the credit goes to Missouri. I have a ton of respect for Coach Gates. He's an unbelievable coach, uh, unbelievable character man, and they have, you know, it's they're having a tremendous year, and it's only going to continue uh, to get better. They're a really good team, very well coached team, um, and. You know, they came out with a lot of confidence today. They shot the ball well uh, early, uh, which allowed them, you know, to, to get their press set and put us on our heels a little bit more. So I give all the credit to, to Missouri. Uh, we knew preparing for this game, we were playing a really well coached, really good team. Um, and, and they stepped up uh, and had a great game. They, they, were, they were definitely the better team uh, today. You mentioned. What about that press kind of gave you guys trouble, especially earlier in the game when they were getting it going? Yeah, I mean, you know, for them, you know, when they're – first of all, the fact that they're pressing means they score the ball, which isn't great for our defense. We, you know, we hang our hat defensively on the things that we do. And for them to shoot 49% and 47 from three, um, you know, we need to be better defensively. But I give a lot of credit to them how they space the floor and we're able to drive it. What their press does, and again, what their depth does, is it, it wears you out, it wears you down. It, it disrupts your offense. It doesn't allow you to, to play with your normal rhythm and flow. Um, it's tougher to run set plays. It's harder to get the ball to guys in certain spots. And they did a great job, you know, keeping us on our heels and not letting us develop any rhythm offensively. How does Jaron kind of continue to lead by example? Obviously, he got off to a hot start, and then even when the team was down a little bit. Jaron and, and Taman kind of were involved in that run to bring you back. In yeah, I mean, their, their work ethic. I mean, Jaron's, you know, earns it every day. Uh, there's no secret to it. I mean, he's a terrific young man, a tremendous leader, competitor. He cares. Uh, he wants us to do well, and uh, and it really matters to him. And the same thing I'd say about the guy sitting next to me. I mean, um, you know, again, the teams we're playing, the environments we're playing, the games we've had, everybody wants to talk about how amazing it is for a freshman to do what he's done. And, I'm around him every day. I know I know what his character is. I know what he's built for. I've got tremendous confidence in him. So uh, we're not going to let this deter uh, what we've accomplished to this point and what we're going to do after this. Like I said, all the credit goes uh, to Missouri and to Coach Gates and their team. And, um, you know, we're going to get right back to it. Still mostly just uh, wait and see, kind of evaluate with, with Caleb for the next couple of years? Yeah, I mean, number one is we're going to do what's in Caleb's best interest uh, to be healthy. Uh, and to be able to play, you know, at his best. And so to me, you know, we're in this profession for young people and developing them and doing the right thing and being leaders. And uh, that falls on my shoulders and I'm going to continue to do that. So whatever's in, um, you know, whatever presents itself is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to be disciplined and do the right thing. And whatever that ends up being is what it is. And, and we'll adapt accordingly. Coach, you know, Dennis Gates told us earlier this week that you and him go back a ways. Um, what was it like for you guys to go up against each other as head coaches for the first time? Yeah, it wasn't very fun for me um, today. So, um, no, I've got a lot of respect for Coach Gates. I mean, we've known each other for, shoot, probably 20 years. Um, he was a graduate assistant at Marquette. I was a high school coach in Milwaukee going to practices. And, and then it goes on from there. So um, really proud of him for the success he's had. Uh, he's earned everything that he's gotten. Um, and, you know, like I said, um, hopefully there will be another opportunity because that one wasn't as fun for me. And, um, but, man, he, he did a great job. I'm proud of him, and, and he's a class act and a terrific coach. Coach, Kobe Bryant had one of his most productive games of the season. How difficult is he to, to defend? Yeah, he, he was so um, physical and aggressive, demanded the ball in spots, was – Terrific on the glass. I mean, they had seven offensive rebounds. He had five of them, and uh, he just demanded the ball in there. Um, he asserted his dominance, and you know he he stepped up. I mean, he's a tough matchup. He's a hard cover, and uh, but I'd say more than that was how aggressive he was, and his intent, his mindset was really impressive. So, uh, you know, he certainly led that charge for them here this afternoon.